Among the priorities of Jokowi's government is to begin the development of Indonesia from the suburbs through the agrarian reform program with a total of 9 million hectares of land and the social forestry program with a total of 12.7 million hectares of land. Both these programs are intended to overcome inequality relating to ownership and tenure of land in villages. Practical Guidance to Submit an Application for the Social Forestry Program for Society Social forestry refers to sustainable forest management of the state forest, private forest, or customary forest, where local society or customary law society serve as the primary actors in an attempt to improve welfare, balance of the environment, and socio-cultural dynamics. Through the regulation of the Minister of Environment and Forestry No. 83 of 2016 concerning social forestry, the government expand the space for public management in forest by up to 12.7 million hectares or 10% of the total area of forest in Indonesia. This target is mapped in Peta Indicative Areal Perhutanan Sosial or the indicative map for the social forestry area, abbreviated as PIAPS, which can be revised based on feedback from society and other parties every six months. So what are the forms of the so-called social forestry? What are the mechanisms which society should follow to submit an application to manage the forest in their respective region? Village Forest it refers to forest managed by villages and utilized for villages' welfare given to the Lambaga Pengelolaan Hutan Desa or the Village Forest Management Council, abbreviated as LPHD in the following locations. Production forest and protection forest which if not obtained permits, protection forests whose management is run by the state forest enterprise, certain areas of forest management units, Documents which need to be prepared A letter of application Village regulation concerning the establishment of the Village Forest Management Council Decision of the Village Chief concerning the hierarchy for the management of the Village Forest Management Council General Area Description Map of Proposed Locations Hutan Kemasyarakatan or Community Forestry or HKM is state forest whose utilization is primarily intended for community empowerment. Is in Usaha Pemanfaatan HKM or the license on the utilizations of community forestry or EUP HKM is given to farmers groups, an association of farmers groups or cooperatives in the following locations. Production forest and protection forest which if not obtained permits Protection forest whose management is run by the state forest enterprise and certain areas of forest management units. Documents which need to be prepared. A letter of application. A list of the applicants requesting the license on the utilization of community forestry. Copy of the resident ID card of all the applicants requesting the license on the utilization of community forestry general area description, and map of proposed locations. Hutan Tanaman Rakyat or Community Plantation Forest, abbreviated as HTR, refers to plantation forest situated in production forest which implements silviculture culture by community groups in an attempt to enhance the potential and quality of production forest to ensure the sustainability of forest resources. An application to obtain is in Usaha Pemanfaatan Hasil Hutan Kayu pada Hutan Tanaman Rakyat, abbreviated as EUPHHK HTR or license for utilization of timber from community plantation forest as submitted for the following locations production forest and protection forest which if not obtained permits and certain areas of forest management units EUPHHK HTR can be submitted by a forest farmer with an area of up to 15 hectares a forest farmers group or an association of farmers groups with an area of up to 15 hectares per member. A 
Forest Farmer Cooperative with an area of up to 5,000 hectares. Documents which need to be prepared. A letter of application, the resident's ID card or KTP, resident's ID number or NIK, and the family registry card or a certificate issued by the village chief if the applicant is a member of a forest farmer's group. A certificate issued by the village chief concerning a forest farmer's group or an association of farmer's groups. A list of the forest farmer's group or farmer's group association members' names and general area description. Map of proposed locations. How do we submit an application to obtain the village forest management right, license on the utilization of community forestry, or license for utilization of timber from community plantation forest? Applicants can submit an application online at psklnlhkgoid akps or submit it directly to the Minister of Environment and Forestry with carbon copies sent to the Governor, the Head of Province Government Services, the Agency Head and the Forest Management Unit Head. Applicants may submit the application directly to the Governor if the Minister has authorized the Governor to do so. Afterwards, the verification team will conduct administrative verification within three working days. If the application is incomplete, the documents will be returned to be completed by the applicant maximally within seven working days. Once the documents have been completed, technical verification will be undertaken maximally within seven working days. Then, a report of technical verification is drawn up followed by the issuance of the Village Forest Management Ride, license on the utilizations of community forestry or license for utilization of timber from community plantation forest by the minister which will be valid for another 35 years. Partnership The state forest management units and private forest management units of forestry business are required to enter into partnership with the local community and the form of forestry partnership implemented in areas under conflict and or the ones which support the life of the local community. The area for forestry partnership is determined as follows. In the working area of state forest management units, for example in the national park, forest whose management is undertaken by state-owned enterprises and forest management units, a maximum of 2 hectares per family registry card. In the working area of private forest management units, a maximum of 2 hectares per family registry card. The community as a partner must meet the following requirements. Local community having a resident ID card or KTP or a certificate of domicile issued by the village chief having a certificate issued by the sub-district head or the head of the customary council certifying that the local community come from cross villages financially depending on forest earning a primary livelihood which depends on arable land or collection of non-wood forest products in the working area of state forest management units or private forest management units a supplier of raw materials to the industry holding the license that is his or her partner. How is the application submitted? The parties draw up a memorandum of agreement, the visual content of the memorandum of agreement. The memorandum of agreement is signed by state forest management units or private forest management units and the party that cooperates with the state forest management units or the private forest management units in the presence of the village chief, the sub-district head or the head of the customary council. The memorandum of agreement is reported by the state forest management units or the private forest management units to the Director General of Social Forestry and Environmental Partnership with carbon copies. The term of the partnership depends on the agreement between the parties. The state forest management units or the private forest management units entering into partnership gets an incentive in the form of prompt service in the area of the Ministry of Environment and Forestry, unless there will be penalty as set out in the applicable legislation.
the Social Forestry Task Force or POKJA PPS, either at the central level or the provincial level, can offer assistance or facilities to any forest farmers group requesting social forestry. Funding for the administration of social forestry is obtained from the state budget, the regional budget, village funds and other sources which are legitimate and non-binding. Thus, it is not hard to realize sustainable forest management through social forestry. Let's support the public in the management of forest.